is up guys how's it going this is kazi from clever programmer and it's your boy papa react how's it going guys part two of react native yeah so it's gonna be exciting i hope you guys are excited last time we left off right about here if you guys remember and we were working on this app and we wanted to make a income tracker for developers all right and this is where we left off. We got a nice little pretty graph going. We were working on adding the ability to add your income and then it should plop it up onto the graph. And that's what we couldn't finish in the last video. So that's where we're continuing from. Exactly. We're going to be adding that functionality to group set. So like as we add that income, it's going to group it by the day. And that's going to be a little cool problem that we're going to solve live in front of you guys. Um, so that'll bring a lot of value to you guys. Um, yeah, we can see people starting to flood in. Nice. Mexico in the house. Hey, awesome. let's go. 85 viewers in the house. Let's go. What's up, guys? So um, I hope you guys are excited. Guys, if you want this video to go out to more people and if you want to become a React JS developer and make a lot of money, then go ahead and smash that like button. Exactly. Smash that like button, guys, and get this video out to as many people. Share it with your friends, all that stuff. We've, we're just starting this new React Native series, so it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys have been excited for that, let us know either in the comments and if you haven't already, like Kazi said, smash that thumbs up. It's the easiest way for us to know that you actually like the stuff we put out. That's right. Oh, that's oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to freaking start it off strong. Jesus. Nice. All right. So my, hold on. I don't know what's going on, but let's try this. That should work. Boom. Wow. We just got an amazing donation by Gabriel Graves. Thank you so much, dude. He goes, let's start <laughs> this strong. Let's awesome. go. $20 donation. He's becoming our new Frank. He is, dude. He's becoming literally the new Frank. And we'll, hopefully he'll be, he'll be landing a huge client soon. Oh, yeah. That's the path. Uh, exactly. Tony says, you made my day. That's what we're talking about, dude. We love that kind of energy. Uh, Kazi, go ahead and share the uh, VS live share with me, and then we can hop on the same coding session. All right, brother. You got it. I'm going to go ahead and do that right about now. Guys, I'm excited about this one. And uh, Sunny, I'm actually excited about this one because I want to be able to track my income. Yeah. And it'll be, it'll be fun, dude. Like, like, there's one thing using an app that helps you out and gets you more, like, you know, productive and shit like that. But, like, actually having built the app and, like, imagine we're using the app and we realize that, oh, it might be cool that we, if we have this or if we have this. Then going ahead and adding it and playing with it, is, that'd be sick. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. I'm excited about that, bro. Nice. I'm inside now. Welcome, guys. Calvin comes in and goes, geez, Gabriel always putting his foot on our necks. Ha, ha, ha. Love it. And then he goes, gets the people going. Rotation, Amazing. the house. What's up, guys? Oh, nice. We got West Africa as well. Nice. What's up, Lelanke? Yep. Amazing. Awesome. All right, all right, all right. All right. Now, we were using Expo to get everything running last time. Yep. Uh, Expo is dope. It was the first time I was using Expo as well. Uh, and Expo gave us some pretty cool, cool features last time because we were able to actually share a QR code with you guys, and you guys were able to actually pull it up on your phone, and you guys dope. Yeah, you can do that right now, by the way, guys. So I'm going to go on tunnel and make it big. And I'm going to hide my screen yep. for a few seconds. So now you're going to get a few seconds right about now. And if you just take your phone, iPhone camera and point it to it, it's going to... Are you on local or tunnel? I'm on tunnel. Oh, dumb. And it's yeah. going to pop this app open for you. And then you should be able to see all the development we are doing live in real time and that'll be super super cool and that's it that's all i had to say there we go downloading it loading javascript bundle 
Yeah, guys, go ahead and do that because it's awesome. And, and if you don't have the app, literally go ahead and just point iPhone users, just point your camera at Android. You can, you've got the scanner. And if you don't have the app that you need to run this, you can pretty much, it will prompt you to download it. But it might take a little while to get started and spin up. But once it does, it's pretty sick. It's pretty cool going ahead. And, and, and as we code, you can see it. Some people are saying it's a bit slow. Yeah, it is a little bit slow. But imagine once it loads up, you pretty much get that connection with us, which is, which is pretty cool. Yep, it okay, is dope. super cool. Uh, Kazi, go ahead and share the the servers as well, so then we can. I can't remember the ports. It was um, if you've got the terminal open, if you hit W. Oh man, this is why What's I happened? told these guys to move iMac Pro, and they did not. So it's like crashing now. Oh shit. Yeah, it's like maybe in that case, maybe in that case, do don't have the tunnel, have the LAN. No, I mean like it's not the app; it's more the like live yeah, streaming. The stream. Yeah. So, for example, yeah. like it's not even bringing my picture and picture back up on the screen, so that's a bit of a problem. But we'll just keep going. I mean, my screen is working, so that's a good sign. And then I'll bring our picture and picture back up later. Okay. So, uh, in that case, can, you can still get to the extensions, right? As in the VS Live Share panel. Yeah. Um, and have you got the terminal running? Uh, the other terminal, can you get to that? Yeah, I have. I have two terminals open, and I have them both running. And I'm gonna give you read and write access to them. Okay. Yep. So I can see the node one. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. So you've, you've got building JavaScript bundle. You attempting to open the project in a web browser, so it should on your computer actually go ahead and pop up. Okay, so it's a local. Yep. Uh, so share port nineteen zero zero six with me. Cool. Um, let me see. So somebody says, see how chaos is after using Expo, can we build it for iOS like a native? Yeah. So pretty much Expo, the only, the benefit of Expo is one, you get to go ahead and, and prototype it on your own phone or on a few other things and you get to share it with like, a, like imagine you built it, sent a client like a, a like a, a link or like a QR code and said, Hey, like, why don't you try it out? Like they can go ahead and try it out. But the, the, the only benefit to using Expo is it's going to be faster. Like it's going to be a lot faster. And right now, um, I actually have the phone up on my on my device, which is awesome. So yeah. I can actually see it on my screen over on my side, which is which is crazy. Oh shit! Um, let me. For some reason, yeah, mine crazy. is not working. It's not coming on your your screen. No, on my phone. Oh, now it's there. Cool. There we go. Oh, now we're up as well. We're back on the screen. So beautiful. So you guys can see. I've got the app actually up and running on mine. Uh, Athava says the tunnel is working as well. Awesome. Um, nice. Rishi Seek says, Kazi, I figured out how to get rid of the decimals. Uh, go for it. He goes, decimal places, no. Okay. Let's go ahead and we can try that. Oh, Dope. Nice. Thank okay. you for that, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's go ahead and try that. So let's go down to decimal places and pop in no. Okay. Let's see if that works. So I hit save on that, and then it says compiling. Oh shit! Nice. It worked. Yeah, oh, dude. It nice. actually worked. Pretty sick. That, That's awesome, Rishi. Wait, hold on. Where did you put it? One second. Let me see. I'm I'm focusing uh, too much so on I'm, the stream now. I'm gonna just focus on the code a little bit. So this one, sixty-five, line sixty-five. Ah, okay. Cool. Oh, that is nice. That is really clean. Yeah, I mean, I, I never wouldn't have thought, no. Why oh, the fuck wouldn't they just make it zero? Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, I think z we tried zero, right? And yeah, it I tried zero. It kind it's of messed up. Work. It doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be, um, so that looks clean now. And guys, what we were on last time, right, is is you can, on, this app is pretty cool. Like, if you guys have got it on your phone right now, what you can do is, or if you haven't, we can run through it on the side. Basically, you enter a description. So imagine we typed in like, uh, let's just say, 
freelance job or something freelancing job and then you put in the m- amount of hold money on, that on. you made they don't so see they don't see what you're putting so i'll i'll put it in yeah, yeah holy right. shit bro look at that fucking every single time i every single second i write yeah <laughs> this is a good <laughs> use effect huh <laughs> yeah. react hook this is a big example of uh yeah exactly this is where it's generating a new random because it's re-rendering every time yeah, which means that we've got the data ran, math dot random. That's why it's going fucking crazy every time we type in. Yeah. So notice, guys, I just added in a job, freelancing job, for two hundred dollars, yep. and four ninety nine plus two hundred is six ninety nine. This total up uh, income exactly. gets updated, but this chart needs yep. to update. Uh, so th- the way we need to make this React hook is that I imagine this chart needs to update only after a submission happens, right? Uh, like, so we actually want to do it. So the, the data set here, so if you follow me. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so it should just follow whatever this data set is. Yeah, so this data set is basically, let's actually start building out. So this data set is an object with a key data, and then that's just an array Maybe of the just, data points, right? Yeah. Now, Every one of these data points goes in line with, like, you see where it's called Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? Um, so we, if we have five data points, we should be having five things here. So right now we've got four, which is why the, the, the dots aren't in line with the, the, axi- uh, the x-axis. So what we want to do now is actually go ahead and have a piece of state which is going to represent our data, right? So let's go ahead and make a piece of state. So let's say const. And guys, we, we're solving this as well as as you guys are seeing it. So it's the first time we're doing it as well. Uh-huh. So it's going to be a cool experience for you guys to see. So set data. And this basically... Can you write down what the problem is? Like in, Just in comments, like right here. Um, yeah. Whoops, those are Python comments. <laughs> All right. Uh, put, come, come on, pause that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. We go. I'm aware. And so, what you... What you want to do is, okay, so right now the problem that we're trying to solve right. is we want, um, yeah, so we want to we want to have all of the data, right? So so the first problem is we want to have this in a variable, right? So so we want it in a piece of state. So so even this math.random, we don't want it here. I just want it in a piece of state up here. So that's the first point. And the reason why... Why is because once it's in a piece of state, we can control it, we can manipulate it, we can change it, we can do stuff with it. If it's just here hard coded, we can't do anything with it. Right. Right. So that's the first problem. So this data set needs to be in a piece of state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, go up here, and I'm just going to pop it in here. So the default value is going to be an object with data inside of it. Right. Data set needs to be in a state uh, variable. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and replace the one that we're using here. So the data set. Okay, so this is actually an array of an object. Okay, but yeah, so it's an array of an object. Right. So in this case, what we need is this needs to be an array of an object. So we need to match that. So an array of an object. So Sunny. And then I'm, what I'm, we can I'm, do is, Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead. So I'm like just trying to, yeah, so basically... It is the problem of if I log my amount of money that I made today and I keep logging it, it just needs to keep being put in that data set, right? Like every time I hit add gig and I add the thing, it should add it to that data set? Yes, exactly. Got it. And And then it needs to add it. It needs to add it with my dollar amount along with... The, descri- um, the description along with the date. Yeah, so the way it works is kind of weird, right? Like the way they, the way their, their sort of API works. So like it, it takes a data set and you can have several data sets. We're only going to use one, right? So in our case, we've got this, this array of data sets But, here, but hold on, right? just one second. So for example, if I put in a $300 amount for that day, where do I put, how are we planning to store the data? date next to it because in python for example what i would do is i would have an array of tuples and i would have yeah. 300 dollars along with like whatever the date is right 10 um october 27 2020 and it would be like that 
and then I would have, yeah. you see what I'm saying? So that's how I would store the data sets, the number yeah. along with the date of when it was submitted. So in this case, what it looks like is we need to generate some kind of data, data structure, which is like this. Oh shit. Um, some yeah. kind of data structure, which looks like this. So like, imagine I'm just going to comment it here. Yeah. Just imagine like write we, in comments. Go ahead. Because imagine like if you have four, so these are going to be each day, for example, imagine this is today, right? So Monday is today, uh, Tuesday, is tomorrow, uh, no, sorry. Uh, imagine Thursday was today. Wednesday was yesterday, Tuesday was the day before that, and Monday was the day before that, right? Yeah. Now, this is going to be the value for this day. This is going to be the value for this day. Uh -huh. This is going to be the value for this day, and, and this is going to be the value for this day. Wait, wait, right? wait. Okay, okay. So, yeah. what we so, hold on. So, what... Um, I understand. Can you see the graph? Let's save it, and then what we can do is we can show it in a, in a really clear way. So, I get what you're saying so with this. Say this repr yeah. this is attached to that right there. The z the zeroth point yep. on this and the first point. So they're like basically mapped by like position of the indices. Yeah, but, that's what it looks like right now. Okay. But how will when I type in my number here, like let's say I made two hundred dollars, will it know because it's just gonna add it as a fifth point on in this array? No, yeah. So what we need to do is we need to do a user fact. So imagine this this data structure. We're gonna have like an array, right? As in like an object, sorry, or an array. I mean, we'll figure out what we need, but we need like an array of objects, and and in that object would be like the date. So you would have one kind of date, and then you'd have a number. So imagine for that date you made two thousand dollars, right? That's and what. The that's what. That's what I'm saying. That's what we're looking for: an array of objects. That so that's that's it. If we have that data set, we're good. That's all we need. Yes. Perfect. Exactly. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to have this, uh, variable being manipulated and changed in a use effect, which every single time, I understand uh, that, data yeah. gets added to the data set, it groups it again. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to understand the logic of the problem, like regardless of the complexity of react involved in it. But I understand what you're saying now with the whole thing with like, okay, so this is going to be our data structure. But then we're going to use the React way of doing it and add that to this. So then every time we actually hit submit, it adds it in a nice way. Exactly. Got it. Exactly that. Okay. Yeah. So we have this array here. And this will be the data set. Um, but it's, it's kind of... Um, so this even our labels needs to be like, it needs to kind of be, it needs to be thought out quite cleverly how we're going to do this. Yes. Um, so what we, we could do is we could have two, we could have two, two pieces of state, one for the labels, one for the data sets. Um, I would prefer to have like one, which had everything inside of it. So we could have like a date. Uh, this is going to be an array. Yeah. So one piece an array of, of data yeah, I, I think one piece of state, that's an array of objects. So then it can hold the date and the amount. Because no, because what we need is this is going to give us this, right? Yeah. But you see here, it accepts an array of the data points. So how do we can translate this to the array of data points and where do we store that? Can we can just, so, we can just write a function that can turn this into this type of thing, right? Right after. Yeah. We could do that, yeah. So we could do that. So it could be a function which which takes this object and returns back the data points, and and this one, right? Yeah, yeah. Like for example, um, it would be like get the key for this. Yeah, we're we'll getting the keys for these. I mean, that's the fucking tricky point because then what it would need to do is like the label will say mun, and then another time mun, and then another mun, right? No, but that's where that's where the use effect will come in, and it will have um, a grouping. So every time it changes, um, it would group, right? So that. So, so. <laughs> Holy shit, bro! Oh man. <laughs> If Mirabon was here. <laughs> 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 oh man. All right. 
So somebody says use memo will be cleaner. Yeah. So dude, once we get it done, right, what we can do is we can memoize it, which means memo means like if it's an expensive calculation, right. You can memo it. Like you can use something called a memo and it basically cleans up the memo. operation. So it's a lot quicker every time it runs. Yeah. Um, it sounds like you're saying memorization now, incorrectly. Memoization. Is it? I don't know. Is it, I'm sure it's memo. Memo. No, 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 no. No, you're saying it. I'm saying that when you say that word to normal people, it sounds like you're trying to say memorization, but you're saying it incorrectly. Oh, yeah. But the word is actually yeah, yeah, yeah. memo eyes, <laughs> memoization. Memoi. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Stephen. He says, congrats on your news. Oh, hey, yeah, appreciate bro. it. Nice. Okay, so the data here would be this. And then, okay, so let's just kind of like map out because it is kind of a puzzle. It's a bit of a tricky situation. So we've got this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have an array. So firstly, it's going to be an array. Uh, and then we're going to have our data points. So let's just structure it as we expect it. So we're going to have our data, data points. So the first one would be something like new date. Let's just set it up with this new date. Um, and then this one would be, um, wait, why is it fucking up? So we got this. Oh yeah, that's a key. Sorry. Um, the date. Oh, okay. Now we've got another issue. Wait. Is the key? Can't write it. Um. You could do it like that. Oh. That's how the key dynamic. Jesus do Christ! Like really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's free weird, right? And then you can have something like um, two thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. Yeah. So you could do something like that. And then the second one would be essentially the same thing, but it would be so the what date plus what, one. What does this become? Does it by default become the date of today? New date? Yeah, by default, that would be today's date. Yeah. All right? So that's going to be today's date. Um, and then this one would be, uh, let's just try and get yesterday's date in, in an easy way. So uh, new date minus one for yesterday. I'm just Googling it quickly. Nice. Uh, I mean, let's just we can just hard code. Oh, we probably we don't want to hard code because we want the data object. Yeah, I just want to kind of get like a very quick sort of. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I I'm like, I'm sure. The more tangible MVP we can put together, then it's easier to solve the problem. Like the less abstract exactly. we can make it, the easier it is to actually solve the problem. Exactly. It just becomes like you really just want to kind of get to a point where you can see your data structures yes, and things like that. That's it. Yeah. That's what I always so, try to just yeah. desperately get to as fast as possible. I want to see my data points. And let's yeah. not forget. So in this uh, case, now this case, so log up. Hold on one second. What the? Dude, you just put like a fire emoji or a pistol emoji or a right or something. There we go. Nice. Save it. Make sure you save it. Oh, yeah. I have to spam the save. There we go. Um, okay. So, mine's being all slow as hell. Um, you are you're sharing. Uh, yeah, you are sharing it, so I can load it up as well. Yeah, so, I can okay. see it. It's just um really small, so I'm gonna make it easier for people to see. Console. Cool. Let me go ahead. This a bit smaller as well. Okay. Go. So what we can see is if we open the console, we've got the array. So it says debug and it's got the array inside of it. And it's got today's it's got date one and time element. and everything. Yeah. One. So it's actually got some weird units. Weird what? It's got one weird unit. Uh, so, so you see that, 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 that weird string, right? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. That's, uh, that's actually, yeah. So it's got the date and then on top of it, it's got some other weird one, right? That's a, that's so, a, so why is a it Unix right? Okay, so is this a, hold on one second. This array has two items, right? Why does it say length one? Because length one means, oh, sh this is because of this. This is my, this is a, maybe hits. here we have an object. Because you have two, get rid of the you have two items in the array. Wait, hold on. So this is not an, this is not an array of objects. It's just one. What do you, this is. This is an object. We wanted an array, right? Oh, you we wanted an array of objects. So Yeah, we want an array of objects, yeah. That's it. Exactly. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I closed your parentheses, bro. <laughs> this is the <laughs> fucking <laughs> cutest shit I've ever done live. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. 
finish each other's <laughs> dude that's like bro ship on another level like i'm closing your parentheses now Hell like, yeah, dude. <laughs> this is deeper level of understanding than any relationship i know right it says okay so new date minus one gave us a unix value which we don't want we want just a clean yesterday value so um, how do we get that how do we get that we can do do sh new date d dot set date oh fucking hell, jesus okay we just want something simple um There's a few ways you can do it, but I don't really want to use moment. To, okay, you know what? Let's, let's actually let's bring moment in because we're going to need moment anyway. Subtract um, it. Hey, man, I heard it's deprecated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody, so, so guys, somebody said moment was deprecated. And Kazi was like, Sonny, moment's deprecated. I was like, no, what? I was like, no way can moment be deprecated. Hold on, hold on. Maybe it is, bro. Hold on one second. Deprecation warning. Wait, that was in 2017. Fuck that. Constructor, maybe, yeah. No, no, I don't care, bro. It's too late. Paul says it is. Oh. I I haven't heard of moment being deprecated. Deprecated. I don't, bro. I just don't believe anybody until it doesn't work for us anymore. Like, just try it, and if it works for us, then oh, it's not deprecated. God. Apparently, it is. <laughs> oh. Wait, let's see. But it's heavily used. Okay. Oh. Right. So yeah. So endings. So I saw an article. Moment JS. Thank you for your service. Oh damn. Okay. Um. Okay, but it still can be used, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because, like, spectacle is deprecated, but I use it every single day. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And it's, it's, like, it's great. So I'm going to go into the terminal, and I'm just going to put in npm install moment dash dash save. So if you come on J on the term, in VS Code. Um, all right. What type of stuff are you trying to tell me to do? So open up VS. There we go. What the fuck and are you then, doing, bro? Dash dash save. What is that? You don't do that anymore. No, no, no. I copied and pasted it from a deprecated documentation. <laughs> 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 That's a good way to start things. Oh, man. Because <laughs> the good thing with moment is you could just do like moment subtract one day. Yeah. And it will give you the exact day. Yeah. Dude, I write oh, such clean code. Like when I actually get time to turn some, I remember I was writing these like, you know, that text that we get sent for the automated text testing and stuff or the income numbers and stuff like that. Yeah. I wrote like the most beautiful moment piece of code that would sum up the Stripe numbers and then turn it into like one date from like Stripe's garbage Unix numbers. It was so oh, yeah. satisfying when it turned to like one line of just beautiful code. And then we got Putler and we ended up like not using at all any of what I did, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, it was, it, that story was really good until it went really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought, what is moment today? Um, oh, God. Uh, okay. So somebody actually gave, he goes, let D equals new date. Set date, get date minus one. Yeah, I saw that, dude. Um, um, dude, bit, we, so. we don't care. Just whatever fucking works, works. I'm not religious to fucking deprecation and none. If this works and it's easy, then I'm going to just do it. Yeah, exactly. Which, how do you do moment? I think that's it's literally just that. And that should generate a um, moment, get today, get today. Yes. Moment dot now or something, right? Is that how it is or no? Like that. It's been a while. Yeah, so it's just moment. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's so that's it. today. And then to get uh, yesterday, we do moment dot uh, do, do, do. And then do just do subtract. minus subtract and then. Um, one day. I think. One and then days. Exactly. And let's yeah. go here. Yes. And then. Save. Cool. We should get the correct stuff now. Should we do I have to refresh or what? Uh, yeah, I've got it. Yeah, so, so 29th and 28th. So. Oh, because you're in my terminal. Nice. Uh, no, I mean, I've got the local. That's what yeah. I mean. That's what I mean. You're in my local host. That looks clean. I like it. Nice. Okay. That's dope. So now we've got it. Uh, we kind of got like a mapped data structure, right? Yeah. Um, so oh, what we should do, dude, is actually 
let's get working with dummy data first, build those functions that yes. plug in the data from this, and then we can go ahead and build from that. That is the only way I do things. I, I like to, my brain is a little dummy sometimes, so I like to start with dummy data first. Oh yeah, let's do that. So then this one, and then what we'll do is we'll say like, we'll have my, an my, my rule is never, ever, absolutely no case use your thinking until you absolutely, absolutely have to. If there's no other way around it, then I will think. Yeah. And, and it's true. Like if you just take a step back, kind of mask it out first, it will make it a lot easier, guys. Because like even now, like we just drafted it out like this, as opposed to kind of like if you just constantly kind of code the solution, it, like raw, it's kind of so somebody says packages have you had, don't worry about that for now, care. guys. Like uh, you can optimize do things not, when it gets do not care point. because I can have yeah, like if there's a day where I'm just really bored, I can sit and optimize it. That's not a problem at all. Like you can easily turn it into vanilla JavaScript code afterwards. Yeah. Also, bro, I was watching. Did you see um, Firebase Summit is live right now? And oh, they've got an integration with Stripe. Oh, shit. They have a new integration with Stripe. Yeah. So now you can do uh, Dude, subscription payments. Hold Stripe. on. Hold on. Why don't we watch their video and react to it? Like, and, and record. Oh, oh. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. You know what I mean? And then, like, we just react to that video and, like, watch it. Let's do it. I'm down. Yeah, let's do it. Cause, cause that was uh, I watched day one and that was dope. And then the fuck you doing watching like, this shit without me, bro? This is my do. You, I did literally, you, I, I went to go send it to you, and I literally, I don't know what the fuck did I. Something you, took my my shelf, and I was like, oh fuck. Like, do you know? Do you know about now, E3? Like, like E3, the gaming convention? Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. I, I mean, something is like my fix. I yeah. used to religiously watch E3 every year, and I would watch. Yeah like all the conference on like Apple and stuff like that. Now we could watch Firebase freaking conference, you know, that would be sick. Yeah, it is, man. Cause I was watching it and I was like, Oh man, I was like, damn. And then they had some stripes off and I was like, Oh shit, they're fixing a huge problem. And they made it so easy now to do subscription stuff. Whoa. And uh, like dude with like five lines of code, there was full subscription handling. And I was like, what? wow. What? Yeah, it's insane. Bro. Really cool Even invoices, insane. everything sent from Stripe. Wait, hold on. Your... So basically everything we did now can be done with just a few lines of code or something? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> no, I think it's more of a case of, no, not from not from that perspective. No. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. Because that what was pretty wrote... jacked. You know, I'm still, yeah, using, we... I'm still using our app. Like it is actually useful. Yeah, uh, Daniel was showing me as well. Daniel like, uh, uses it. I use it. And when I don't use it, it's extremely painful. The entire process without it is extremely painful. I need to update uh, the the name list as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name lists are like make it in a way where we can add a name because I am constantly making my name Frankie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I'm not, giving, I mean I'm not giving my sales to Michael. <laughs> we also have to do um uh tray, right? Uh yeah, because yeah, yeah, we have to update tray because for PWJ I think it's uh, giving us some funky information. Yeah. Okay. So um so now the data structure should be set. So we've got everything in there. Devin so what watched we're gonna do E3 now religiously is this too. Great? Nice. Well, yeah, honestly. And 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 I, man, I just love, and dude, I watched the Firebase thing, right? As I was watching it and I was like, okay, this video must be popping right now. Yeah. It had 22 likes. And I was like, <laughs> how the fuck does nobody know about this stuff? Like, and how the oh, hell, man, it, how the hell are they not reaching out to us? I know. I'm, I was wondering, I was like, we literally are like your biggest users. And then they were like, um, yeah, we should, we should reach out to them. Yeah, I don't think like is it Firebase Summit. Guys, let us know in the comments. Are you watching it right now? The Firebase Summit? Have you guys seen that? Because they have some awesome stuff to drop in. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. There are 287 thousand subscribers. Damn. Um, yeah. we're crushing them. Dude, we're crushing Firebase. That's really sick. I know, right? 
We should be spon- uh, sponsored by Firebase. That would be dope. That would be like the. I would easily say like, hell yeah, I'd chat them out for hours. <laughs> like, yeah, that would be that would be really really dope. Yeah, man. All right. Okay. I'm gonna just leave this here and I'm gonna come back to it. Yeah. Probably so never. Now- we're going to create two helper functions, right? One is going to get all of the dates as in from our, all of these keys. They have the dumbest yeah. thumbnails. No wonder they're not getting any views. I know. Yeah. And their titles. They could use some help. We'll help them out. <laughs> um, so what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and do this. So we can say const get let's call it get dates right yes and it's going to be an arrow function and what we're going to do is we're going to say data i mean this could actually be a one-liner i think oh Yo, you got I'm some gonna... music to play bro there's some music yeah let's do it man let's do this look this one hell this one's yeah sick. yeah all right so this one's pretty sick so like we do const get dates and then we say a little bit low because it's too loud hey okay. Hey. Nice. Oh, sick. Paul Oscar says it would be awesome to introduce TypeScript in some series. It has become quite industry standard and it's fucking awesome. Yeah, dude, I agree. That uh, I love TypeScript as well. And uh, we've never touched on it on the channel. And it's it's really good for anyone who's come from a strongly typed language. So Java, C sharp, those kind of things. Yeah. Um you're gonna be fans of it. Um, okay, so get dates. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say return data dot and you can actually do this now because data is an object, right? Well, it's, it's an array. Oh, okay. So what we need to do is we need to say data. Well, technically, dude. Hold oh, on. No, it is what, an array. what are you trying to do? Just one second. I want to be on the same page with you. So okay. you, you're, when you say get dates, what, does, what should it look like? Can you just show me the raw naked shit that it should look like? Yeah, so our end result should be... Uh, an array that we're returning like this and it should have date one date two date three date four okay cool and like, like this right that's what we want and this is our current data structure right so we have an array of objects okay so 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 you're saying that get dates should uh get should get all of these dates here so like for example it should catch this date and put it in there and then yep. take that date and put it in the next one yeah. So what we can do is we can use a map for that. So we yeah. can actually go ahead and say something like uh, const dates equals data dot map. And then for every single uh, data point, oh no, what should, we say, what should we call these? Like uh, like a tuple, but what should we call it? Like um, um, Call what? I'm sorry. So every time you map through it, what, what do we refer to this as? Like a data point or something? Like a, a data set or... Um, yeah, I, from the Python world, just call it a tuple, like, but it's actually a tuple. This is an object or a pair. Yeah, we can say data.map, uh, we'll just call it a pair, yeah? So, so for every pair, we want to get the um, key. So we're going to say pair.key. I think you can do that because we've got an object. No, no, we're going to say object, so map and get the object dot key i think we do it as that is it no key no it's not that um hold on one second is it can we're we... gonna get this back which is um we're gonna get we, we all we want is the key of the object yeah so oh yeah we just want the key that's right let's uh but there's a there's a really nice way of doing this there's a really nice way of doing it because we have an, an array here but there's so people were saying dates dot set dates dot get date no we don't do it that way um, dates dot set date loop yeah oh is it call oh, well done okay. So let's do let's try. So when you map through an Hold array, objects.keys. I think you can do object.keys, right? 
Yeah, so oh, that's uh, yeah, I think that's it. Obviously, don't keys, uh -huh. and then we can do uh, and then that should give us a uh, the key back. Yes, and yes, I think yes. It would be the first one. If you just one, do too. object, uh, object dot keys, yeah, because there's only one key in that object, then we'll get the date. That and then that will to... map through every single one and bubble up into an array. Uh, what is the zeroth yeah. shit? What what is the need for this index? Because it it's gonna give us an array back, but uh, it's, I think so. it's only gonna use that element. Wait, hold on, I don't understand. Yes, it would only be that element, but the return type for object or keys is an array. So we can try it. We can try it. We can go ahead and, and console log this. So we can say console log get dates. Oh, object dot keys. Yeah, it gives you. You see what I'm saying? It's gonna. Yeah. Oh, uh, I see. I, I got it. 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 Okay. Cool. 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 Got it. You just want the yeah, date. You don't want the. I understand. I understand. Because yeah, even though even though it's only going to be one, you're going to have it as yeah. So basically, if it's something like ten twenty seven, like October twenty seven, uh, twenty twenty, instead, what you actually want is just ten twenty seven twenty twenty, and I, obviously, it's a date time object. I understand. So you want that instead. Yeah. Cool. Got it. Exactly. Okay. Um, oh, Paul said a good one. He goes, uh, you can also use the whole data set as a dictionary where keys are dates and then just use object or keys. Oh, shit. Let's try it. Let's, I've never, I haven't done that in a while. So let's, let's see that. How to create a dictionary with key value pairs. Um, do you want to then, just do a simple version that works first and then yeah. do it? Or do you think yeah. it's worth simplifying it right now? Yeah, we'll do it this way first. We'll do it this way first. You're right. Otherwise, I'll get carried away. So you should they get dates. Let's call that and see what we get. So we'll say debug two. Let's just call this one the dates. What are you and expecting we'll say, to get right now? Expecting to just get this right now, right? Like actual dates. Yeah, we should get the dates in that form. Cool. Okay, save. Refresh you. Refresh. React native. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Hey, awesome, let's go, cool. bro. One time, bro. One no, take. No, no, Hashtag one take. One take. That's that. Now, I just, I do want to explore that, that the dictionary, what has he done? The short hand array. Oh, okay. So dictionary is literally just going to be an object as such. So new object, dictionary, short hand. Um, okay. You could do it that way, but. No, I I know I yeah I. Mm. Wait 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 hold on what are you doing bro Let's just go to the next step We got the race. This one's pretty good yeah. What what we can do is we can actually really make this uh, quite sweet. You can actually go ahead and say if you only have one line of code. Don't worry. You can actually, no but no but isn't it? We'll keep everything really slick. Like you just do this. You just do. All right. Get rid of this. That's it. Okay okay cool. Sick. So now this gets us what we want, right? Yeah, and that will give you a direct return when it maps through and gets us that. So now we know how to do it really nicely for the key. All we need to do is the same thing for the um, uh, the values now. So we can actually go ahead and say get, uh, so that if the first one was a date, we can say get amounts maybe. Yeah, if you didn't have this indice by zero, then what we would actually get back, what this would actually, this thing would end up returning an array of arrays. Yes, but because we, we get zeros, array 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 nested, of yeah. Opt. Yeah, cool. Yeah. This is where sort of like guys, this is where data types and all that sort of like the way of thinking comes into play. Because like if you did like what, what Kazi said, then you didn't have the zero, you'd be kind of like mind. You can easily get quite mind fucked in the beginning because you you'd be like, oh my god, what? Where am I doing an, an array inside of an array? And it kind of like gets confusing. So just understanding the fundamentals makes it all a lot easier. So you can say object dot value. Uh, Object or entries? No, entries is both. We can say object or values. And that should give us the amount. So now That's what I'm easy, gonna do is I'm gonna console log. That's easy. Easy money. Amounts. That's it. Save that shit. Object dot values. I think it's values. I'm sure it's values. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, values, bro. There we go. Dope. Bada bam, bada boom. And that's that's pretty okay. dope. So now we have the data structure. Um, what we can do is MJ Hold on. can. I, I got a question just... for you. I got a question for you. Yeah. If um a lot if all these dates were 
subtract by two days, subtract by two days, subtract by two. If they were all the same. Yep. No, remember, we need the intermediate step afterwards, which will do the grouping. Right. Got it. Yep, 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 yep. I understand now. Yeah, yeah. There, would be, there would be another step before That's that, what which I... would do the grouping. Yeah. Okay. But this is really good, man, because this is actually, even I was thinking, I was like, I'm not sure how we're going to break it down the best way, but this is awesome. Like, yeah. We're solving it piece by piece and then reversing it and doing other stuff. So this we've done this. Really now what we're going to do is we're going to swap in our data set values with that new stuff, right? So instead of this, we're going to use get amounts over here. And oh, here we're use... snap, son. It's about to work already. I'm fucking hyped. I know, right? This one will be get. What is this? Get, get dates, bro. Uh, get dates. Get dates. Yeah, that's what Aaron's life is about right now. Let's go. <laughs> Save and let's fucking go, bro. And now we should have a nice looking. <laughs> My life is about get a mouse. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, dope. There we go. Nice, man. Refresh your screen. Hold on, hold on. I don't see anything yet. Don't get excited. So the X axis is a little bit fucked, but we'll, we'll fix it. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't see shit. My screen is just white. So go ahead and try to... Wait, Damn, it son, it works. Yeah. 5,500K so in good. one day. <laughs> Bro, what are we talking <laughs> here? Hold on. Five, that's $5,500,000 in one day. That is a good yeah. Sunday. <laughs> The K, the K part needs the, uh, that's where we need to, so this K, where we have the Y axis um, on line 79, that is going to be an issue because you, if you're, if you're going to have K attached to it, our use effect or whatever it is, our intermediate step is, has to account for that. Otherwise we're displaying shit. And <laughs> Otherwise we're displaying it in the wrong way. That's it, guys. You got Abdullah says, this hey. is nice. We appreciate your time and energy. Thanks, guys. Bro, turn Peter that says, music Yo. up, bro. That music is fucking getting me lit. It's good, right? It's lit, bro. Um, For some reason on my phone, it hasn't updated yet, the app, but it's uh, working on the web. I can see it on the web. Yeah. Dope. Okay. So, so we've done that step. That's fantastic. So now, so now, hold on. Before we continue. Um, yep. Now what we need to do is when you say intermediary step, the when you yeah. say, okay, so I, I want to get it to like crystal clarity before we move forward because otherwise then like I'm just going off of what you're saying. I also want to just understand. So <clears throat> when we're doing the group by, right? Yeah. Is that happening? That Are we going to have that happen? afterwards like after these functions are done calling or is the grouping actually happened uh, gonna happen like right as these are coming in like is that an intermediary step so there's a really nice way to, to handle this gracefully right uh -huh. um and, and the way we do it is and we say, actually can you show me like a literal example of like in a comment what it will look like once the group by is done like, what will that actually do yeah so so imagine we had like a day here which was the same day this day was the same day we had another day which was literally the same day here what it's gonna do is it will turn this data set into the following, right? So we will have this data set. Uh -huh. it, won't, it won't look like this. It will look like something like this. It will have, so imagine this is the data here. So we have this. It will have, rather than it having it like this, we have the, the date repeated three times. It would accumulate this. So you would now have, whether this is 3,000, so you'd have 550, 950. So you'd have 95. And then you would basically go ahead and have this. So now this, this date would accumulate up to, it will bubble up to this amount. Okay. Um, Fila says this channel has become a Netflix without me noticing. I spend more time watching videos. They're awesome. Nah, I love that. All right. So that's going to be awesome for that. And then this one where it's got the same day, it's going to find these keys and it's going to say, okay, like we have the same key here. So let's just add up on this value. So it's going to be 11 K. Right. So this one's actually going to be 11 thousand and then it will bubble up and now we have this so you see like what happened there it basically bubbled down from this to this 
right? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, yep. it, it, okay, I understand. Cool. That's really good okay, to just see it tangibly. My brain has to do no um, translating and it, like no processing power is now being used by my brain. Like I can just see it. Yeah, and, and to be honest, it really is. Um, it's really uh, nice to actually have that now as a as a comment, so that when we were building it, it's very visible. Like, okay, because as much as it may seem that you remember that, when you kind of get into a brain, like when you're thinking about stuff and all that, you can very quickly kind of go like, oh, and then things get overlapped, and before you know it, you just can't even make sense of anything. Yes, That's I hate that. I I actually love doing the. The, the work up front of, cause like I never want, trust me, I never want to actually write this out. Cause I'm like, Oh, it's just faster. If I just spend this time fucking coding. Yeah. But once this is done, which is also why I like doing test driven development too, because yeah. once this is done, it's so much easier to code and explain. And honestly, another reason why I like it is for the people that are watching. It's so much easier when it's done this way. Cause otherwise the thinking is happening only either in your head or my head. Exactly. And guys, it really does make a difference because like as much as like, like Kazi said, like when you go and hack away at the code, trust me, like even in the beginning of this, I was kind of confused. It's like, oh, how are we actually going to break down the problem? And but then like after we literally broke it down to these two lines now, everything kind of makes sense. And like so even doing sense. this comment, it starts to make a lot more sense as the next step. Yes. So if you ever feel like, oh, I don't know what's next or I have no idea what I'm doing next it's completely a fine place to be. Just yeah. like break it down. And trust me, the next step will naturally appear as you just do that. Right. I love what fella yeah. said. He's like, this channel has become my Netflix without yeah. even me noticing. I spend I'm, all the time yeah. watching your video. They're awesome. And then another comment I really love is Abdullah. Or no, not Abdullah. Nick Foley. Amar says the real time thinking thoughts really add quality compared to an actual pre-planned tutorial. Yeah, I actually raised that's actually really true. Right, Sunny, because as yeah. we're going through it and working through this problem, I think it's actually a lot better than you having it pre planned and solutioned out because now people can see the thinking process behind it. And in an interview, this is actually the type of thinking you have to do live. Exactly. And guy, yeah, hundred percent. I couldn't agree more. Like, uh, that is probably the most value. Like if I was learning out and in the beginning of my journey, I'd, all I'd want to see is other people who are experienced show that they're human and actually like, oh, okay, I'm not crazy. I'm not dumb. Like they also get stuck. How do they get over problems? Watching them get over problems. I think it's really, really nice way of, of doing it and seeing that. Right. Um, Devin Gray says, even though my coding I didn't get used, it was good to use my thinking ability too. I finally found some time for the ES6 data structures that I'd never really find uses for in the wild. Yeah, honestly, Devin Gray, like, <clears throat> uh, honestly, dude, like, uh, you, you're right. Like, and, and and the suggestions that you gave, like, everyone who gave a suggestion doesn't mean your suggestion is bad. Like, it could be literally a much better solution than what we've implemented, or it could be more efficient, it could be more everything. It's just the way of thinking now that we have the, the flow that kind of goes in place, you can optimize and you can be like, okay, now we're using a data a map here. You can now replace that, that part with your sort of solution and you'd still have the same flow, it'd just be more efficient, right? So you could go ahead and do things like that. Um, but let's go ahead and, and tackle this problem, Kazi. So the group buy sounds easy, but we're going to have to find like a really nice sort of solution which, which does that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> And in an efficient way. And I've done similar things before, but we're going to have to account for a few weird things, right? We're going to have to account for uh, the timestamps are technically going to be different because... Because, so what we should do... No, 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 I understand. So what we should do is not have the time because that's irrelevant. We should have just so yeah. it's up to the days. So we should group it by days because right now it's yeah. going to be trying to group it by like the actual Unix value, which is never, ever going to be the same. Yes, exactly. Exactly that. So it's going to be grouping it by the Unix value and that's never going to be the same. Uh, so we need to er erase the time. We just want to keep the date. Um, we don't even care about the, the time zone and all that stuff because right now it says time zone. We just want the date itself. So uh, we can go ahead and do that. So is that will that be done with format LL? No, format won't actually change the... What did it actually change the so you, type? You can change it to uh, form. You can do format. Format is is a format. If we just wanted it to, 
If you do format okay, so LL, format it says, LL. Yeah, the date. That's Oops. it. Yeah, that's format LL. So let's go ahead and just test that now. So we say moment moment dot format uh, LL. Hey. Let's go. let's go. I swear the music actually helps you like kind of focus a uh -huh. bit, you know, like. Dude, I'm loving the music. And then we say music. Or, hey. Oh, <laughs> moment dot format. And then do this, 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 this. I'm just gonna pop it there for a sec. Ooh, and then what we do is inspect it. And have a look and see if we're getting the, the expected result. So I'm refreshing it, and now we can see that it didn't. Uh, oh no! So hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, it did. Boom! Looks freaking beautiful, bro. Yes, there we go. Okay. So now, so now it doesn't matter what the time is, but that you're gonna get the same dates. Okay. So that's gonna help us out. Um, so that's going to be cool. What we might want to do, Kazi, is actually format it quite early so that we can show on the graph. On the graph. So right now, if you see the graph, it says October 29th, October 28th, but it's quite big on the graph. What we don't want it to say October. Fuck. We just want that short view, you know, like the short dates. There's a very hideous group by that works, but I want to... It's like using reduce, and I kind of want to just avoid it because I don't know. Oh, that, I was gonna say that the ideal one would end up using a reduce, like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks very mathy, but yeah, we can do it. We can do it. This looks like it should work, but it looks just drop me the hideous into that in the code. So if you just copy and paste it in the code, I can just grab it from the code. I dropped it in Slack, but I'll drop it in the code as well. Hey, there we go. Hey, yo, turn that up a little bit, bro. I'm liking that one. My bad. I'm like, fucking turn it down. I'm go. like, turn it up. <laughs> All right. So this one is saying group by. Okay. So, yeah. So I've used a similar one to this before. And it's really, I mean, to be honest, I I, I got my head around it ages ago. And then I was kind of like, okay, I, I, mean, I lost this. I, I um, don't really care to get my head around it. I just want if to. If it works, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. What I would do when I'm coding this is I would just copy paste this and then i would just try to match where it would stay consistent where where it would where it says result and item because yeah. i just imagine one so let's, do, let's do a let's call it const group by you should try it this takes... one by the way because like this one looks more legible to me like i just sent it to you in slack but that one looks more legible you mean the one with the the spread and things like that no the one that i just sent right now in slack to you yeah, so it's got like a spread operator and stuff like that. I don't see. Um, oh, oh, I see the spread operator. Okay. Yeah. So it's got like a spread result and things like that. It's got result item. The other one had a reduce I mean, with just, one level. This one had like, a reduce with. It's like taking an array and then indexing it by a thing and then indexing that. I don't know. I think the first one, I mean, because the, the first one we can rewrite it with arrow functions will be, and it'll look really clean. Okay. It won't man. be so confusing. All right, all right. Go with it. This looks hideous. <laughs> or you can say it takes excess and a key group by, which is excess and a key length. The length hey. is one, two, three. So Hold on, group where, by what are you three. doing? Where, are you writing somewhere? Oh, yeah, you're writing it. No. I'm looking at that code example that we have, we found. So it okay. says, uh, if you want to, but I don't get why. Well, the the key they're taking is checking the the length. All right, give me a. And they're using like it seems like there's a higher order function being used or something. I I don't know, bro. It's it's fucking giving me <laughs> giving me anxiety looking at it. I mean, it, apparently it's pretty. Mm, the other one is I am stock keys. The other one looks like that. something I would write. The first one looks like I would write if I got eight years of like math PhDs and then fucking was writing my thesis. So somebody said elegant but painfully slow uh, on it larger arrays. It doesn't matter because the other one was an efficient. Array, I, I would said. rather have it be legible so the other people I work with can understand. Yeah, I mean they're both kind of confusing as well. Like uh, <laughs> I racked my brains and still fail to understand. And how in the world does this work? Starting from now, I can't sleep because of that. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I don't care. All right, bro, just pick one. I would. 
Personally, I would go with this, but if you want to go with the other one, go with the other one. Um, but I'll be right back shortly. Okay, let's tr let's try this one. So, are you following me? Yeah. I should be following you. Just give me one yeah. second. I'm gonna come back. Okay. So, guys, you might not be able to see a little bit of what's happening, but I'll talk it through so you guys keep in in the loop of what I'm doing. So. Right now, we've got uh, Sihan Kaya says that is real pair programming. Yeah, 100%. Um, and Devin Gary says, your manager will never approve for the easier one. Trust me when I say it, the truth is, is that when it comes to efficiency, um, the senior devs are going to be quite good sometimes with understanding how it works, so they'll really dive in. But some, like sometimes, the truth is, like it, it, it really depends. Like you, you might, it doesn't really get, it doesn't really, really get like that. Like they don't really check or they're not going to really dive in as like that. But this is just dive into it. So we got, I'm going to refactor this, right? So I'm going to copy the snippet later. So it's variable group by, okay? So this is nasty. I'm going to change this up. So firstly, never use var anymore. It's old. Um, we don't want that. So const group by, we don't need this function keyword. We're going to make it an arrow. Yes, six style. And then here we don't need this. We can make that an arrow. So boom. Then we've got the return. Now the return here we can actually get rid of because it's it's implicit. So what we can say is we can get rid of the return, get rid of these curly braces, and get rid of this one. And now we've got a simpler line of code here. So I'm going to quickly format this. So I'm going to say format document. Does it work? No, our format is not working. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to say excess dot reduce. So it's going to return this, and then this one will return v at the end of it. So V is, oh, RV, sorry. So RV is this one. Uh, this has to be this because it's two lines of code. So now um, we're going to say excess. What is excess? Why is it calling it excess? Um, excess, oh, data, no, group by excess. Okay, so this, I mean, I don't like that. I think let's just call it the array. So you pass in an array and the key that you're trying to group by in this case, so this is what they had on the on their site. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste it down here so we can see it. This is an example of what they had. So boom. So you can see like this is an example of the code snippet that they had underneath when they were calling it. So you guys can see. Oh shit. Okay. It's like, right. So you guys can see now. Oh my god. Damn it. What am I doing? Close this up. Yeah. And I've opened some annoying stuff. Okay. So now. You can see if I go ahead and comment this forward like that. Now you see, oh, I appreciate that. Joseph says, seriously, you guys deserve a YouTube award. I appreciate that, man. Um, we're just having fun with this stuff. So console log group by, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try it. Screw it. Let's go ahead and see what it outputs, right? Because that's the best way you can do this stuff. Honestly, like, like here, what they're doing is they're passing an array as the first argument. So that gets passed in here. And then they're saying passed in the length, right? And then... What's happening is it's getting, I mean, it's, I guess it's grouping based on this, but they don't actually show what the original thing is. Oh, they do show what the original thing is. Len, let me see if I can get that for you guys. So length is that one that they gave us phase one step two. Oh, okay. They don't even use that example, but let's go ahead and say... This R one, we don't have length. So if we don't have length, then it would be, let me go ahead and pull this out. So three, one, two. Length is the key they want to group. Yeah, I know. So that's what I understand. The length is the key they want to group it by an example. But in our example, our key is dynamic. So you see, now we're in a bit of a pickle because our key is going to be dynamic based on what you're looping through inside the array. So now we have an issue because we don't... Ah, uh, damn it. Because now our key is not going to be... Okay, so Kazi, this isn't hey. the correct this isn't the correct grouping function we need. Oh shit. Reason being is because this will take an array and uh -huh. then imagine the key was like 
uh, the key was len. Because mm -hmm. our key is dynamic. You see this? The key is dynamic. But their one, it would be length. And then they're grouping. But no, wait, no, that's not correct, is it? Does it mean, why is it correct? Because in their example, they don't do it like that. Shit, okay. Ah, users yeah. by color. That's pretty much what we need. We just need the equivalent of that array. So Which, let's actually see this. We can use, okay, to iterate over every item. Got it. If it doesn't. Let me find group by unique keys. Holy shit, this looks awfully readable, bro. Oh yeah, um, it. This actually, I've, I've, I, I sent some good hope on this one. A hey. was. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like you guys deserve a YouTube. Oh, I just had deja vu of this exact moment. <laughs> wow. Really? <laughs> Literally, I had the screens open. And everything. You were wearing the same top as well. Holy crap! Oh shit. Uh, um, Bro, you, you, which, make sure you have a deja vu about an eight-figure day so we can quickly fucking make that happen. <laughs> exactly. Return AC fee. Hello. Grouping. Okay, so we're talking. Okay, so grease is by color value. Grouping is... Okay, so... Dude, this looks really, really promising. I swear. Because we're group... They're grouping by color. We're just grouping by day. So... Wherever yeah, it says color, the, it's just date for us. It's passing color, right? So users by color. Uh huh. And we're doing it by date, which is, you know what I mean? It's like, sounds like it's the fucking. Oh. This works, bro. I'm telling oh. you. But the but the key is color. Our key is, see the way we've got a weird situation because our key. Oh. is unique every oh, time. Oh, no, bro. We you should, see this? No, no, no. We did it in a dumb way. Honestly, we should have a key. We should have two keys. Yeah, one should yeah, be yeah. date and one should be amount. I just think we did it in a funny way. I think we should change our data structure. Yeah, so, so here we should maybe have it as date. Why the fuck did I not think about that? That sounds very, like, obvious now that I look at it. I'm like, that looks like a horrible data structure. Yeah. So it should be like this. It should be something like date and then it should have uh date has uh and then we should say and no need um, for that uh bracket at the here right like no need for that yeah uh-huh and then this one would be this looks way cleaner bro i just feel like i took a shower after like weeks i know right <laughs> Damn, bro, look at you being fucking efficient. I'm just there putting in. That was dope, man. We just fucking like, <laughs> blitz that shit. <laughs> Dude, this pair programming is fucking Oh, lit. man. <laughs> that was sick. That's clean. That was sick. All right, so now we've got... Um, <clears throat> so now we need to firstly modify our get dates and get amount. So uh -huh. let's quickly fix that before because it's oh, gonna that's going to be out, so though. much easier now. The code is going to be so much readable instead of this object that keys obfuscated yeah. garbage. Now we just say data dot and we say pair dot date. Oh my god, that's so much better! Holy shit! See, guys, this is a pure example of where like you come come up with breakthroughs, and now the next time this comes up, we probably will realize a little Ooh. bit. More. That's clean. That's clean. Nice. Hey. So now we can check our code and that should be clean as squeaky clean as fuck. Well. Dude, I'm enjoying myself on this live stream, bro. Oh, dude, that, that was a, that was genius play, man. That's fucking clean now. Yeah. Hey. Uh, it works. It does? Yeah. Oh shit, in one try? Yeah, one try. And the data structure is good now. It's a good data structure. Yeah, we had some crazy shit. Why did we do that? Fuck. I, I, I don't <laughs> Dynamic keys. Okay, so now our group by will work. Oh, this looks so clean. Now we can do group by. Do you and wanna... guys, that's an example as well. If you see some code on Stack Overflow, like or something that works, 
it can, but you, but it doesn't go by your data structure. You can't fit it in. It's a quick. It, sometimes it's a clear indicator of like maybe your code is wrong, right? Um, one sec. Later. Okay. So now we've got the group by, and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say. How is Sienna? Who's Sienna? Oh, that's my niece. The one that oh, was born. Oh shit, that is so cute. That's a beautiful name. That's a beautiful name. Uh, she's Sienna and then we've got my other sisters uh, giving, brief, uh, giving birth to me as well. So yeah, thank you Shiva as well. Appreciate the comments on that. Damn. You got a baby. Congrats on you, you got a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Spreading misinformation. So some people were, were messaging on Instagram. I was like, it's not my baby. I'm an uncle. Yeah. Maribond walks in. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> um, okay, so do you want to use this piece of code, bro? Because this piece of code looks very, very simple. Unless there's some reason to not use this color code. Because so, this... so I've actually used something similar to this before. The, the ugly group by one. <sighs> Okay. It's, it is a good one because it's got a reduce in it. Like, uh, it's just, it looks ugly. Um, oh, David Johnson in the house. Appreciate that, dude. And I got your message, by the way. I'm going to, I'll get back to you. Um, that's sick, man. Look forward to that. And uh, so group by. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do console log. And I'm going to say the grouped values are... And then here I'll say, hey, got a dog. Nice. Pudgy. Go group by. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to pass in the data. What do you mean my break was quite rewarding? What does that mean? Pudgy's break was quite rewarding. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. All right. <laughs> what, what are you working on? So now I'm just console logging it. So now look how clean this is, dude. Group by data and based on the date key. Oh, is it working? I mean, I'm hoping so. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to check it. So you should see the group values are something. Let's go ahead and check it. So... Oh, okay. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's, it works? that's clean. Holy shit, that is clean. Oh, shit, son. That's dope, man. All the October 27th one. Or, oh, that's satisfying. Very, very satisfying. All right, now what we need to do is we need to modify it a little bit so that it, it changes. It oh, David like, so says you stepped out for a bit and came back with some clear head to fix the bug. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of that lately. I just walk away from things and then I come back and I'm like, all right, let's go. That's it. Sometimes you just need like a little a few, a little bit of time where, oh man, Firebase just uploaded another video. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do. Uh, just because just discovered you guys. Hello from Spain. Spain. What's up, Craig? Yo, yo, Thanks. yo. So now we've got the three dates. Uh, no, sorry, we've got the, the array with the date and the amount, the amounts in. So now what we need to do is we actually need to like um, we need to transform. Group by what is returned by from group by into um, into so 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 it has the same keys. Can you the, do you want to write like a comment, like a literal? Yeah, what, what yeah. it will look like, like a literal example. Exactly. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this out, and I will show you guys hopefully what we can what I can see right now. So I don't know if this will look decent on the screen, but. You guys can see now. This is my. This was what was console logged on on Chrome. So now we pretty much have like an array, and just fuck that bit. We don't need that. Fuck that bit. Okay. So now imagine this is our array, right? So we've got an array, 
and it's got the keys are October 27th, October 28th, and October 29th. And then each one has a value. So this one has two inside of it. So it had this and had some stuff inside. And the second one I expanded so we can see that just as an example. So you've got the array of three. So what, what we want is we need to transform this into something like this. So that way, like uh, imagine this array of three, right? I don't want this. I just want, because the dates are the same. We know that, right? So yeah. we just want two add three add four is nine, right? Hold on, hold on. What? Uh, what? So now what we want is because the key, basically we got the grouping functionality correct. It grouped all the ones with 28th of October, right? Oh, you want the so amount now, summed up. Yeah, we just want to sum. So we will literally want to replace this wait, wait, array. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. So yeah, that's what yeah. I was going to say. You just want the... The value to actually not be an array. You want the value to just be the sum of amount. Just one number. Yeah. Exactly. Uh. Exactly. Yeah. So somebody goes, check if... Oh, fuck. somebody actually that, gave a, no, a, I, an I, answer to that. Maybe I, this. I see that, yeah. See but I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> this is, this is the making, key. Making that even more <laughs> obfuscated than it is, but okay. Yeah. Let's say push in... And then we're going to say an RV plus equal value amount. So plus equal value amount. Mm. I think we should do it as a separate function. I so think we should do it as a separate, separate function, function, dude. Like that, that piece of code yeah. is already a bottleneck. I don't want to. Yeah. So, so, because what you can do then is it's very clear then that you've got functional pieces of code. You'll one, you'll know where things break if you change them. And two, you can always refactor and get the code so damn clean at the end of it. But the, your first primary focus should be to get like that understanding thing. Understanding and clarity. Function. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, um, oh, nice. Austin Brian Kabanda says, uh, it, Clever Program is the best thing that happened to YouTube here from the Philippines. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go Love that. Right, so the group values are okay. So now we've got that down. So now what we want to do is, is get this functional bit done. So it'd be 9,500, and then these will also be numbers as well. So whatever this is, like 2,000, this one would be like something like 4,000. So that's the goal, right? We're going to get from this to this, All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to pass this as an argument, and we want the function to return this, okay? That's what we're going to kind of treat it as. Um, and then uh, I think, dude, this is awesome, man. We're actually going through some serious problem solving right now. Yep. Like, uh, it, it's sick. Yeah. So this, I think this is really useful for everyone. So group by, this is so, a great so problem to go through because there's so much data structure crap happening here. It's insane. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then once we get it down, it'll, you'll see guys how you go through this messy process and then the end result is so damn clean. And then you'll, you'll debunk that myth of, oh, that's, it's not written the first time like that, right? Like, so it will it'll be help you out. So now we're going to say it's const and we're going to call this one uh, transform or data or transform data as in, um, it's just a transform data and it takes an array. So it will take the group, as we're going to call it, it takes the group data. So it will take the group data and we're going to assume the group data is in this structure. And then we're going to say the grouped data is, and by the way, guys, this is an object, right? Here. Object dot entries. And this will give you a array of key and value pairs. So object dot entries, let's just double check object dot entries. I think it gives you a key value pairs back object entries. Yeah, it gives you key so value this, pairs. I'm showing it on my screen. Oh, sick. Yeah. So it gives you key value pairs back. So what we should have is object.entries.map. And then what we want to do is map through every single entry and or for each. Sorry, you mean you could do for each? No, you could do for each. So hold on. What are you four. doing? You're you're getting um so now. What I want to do is I want to loop through each of these. What will this give you? Can you show me? Like this will give you what? It'll... So this should give you like October 27, 2020. Uh-huh. And then it should give you um, uh, as, 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 as that, that as the, the key. And then the value would be the array of this array here. So like this one here. Okay. So let me actually, I'm just going to copy paste that. Yeah. 
and and this is well so here's the thing is this uh, considered a strength what is this considered when oh. it gives you the key dude maybe we should log it here and do object entries over yeah. this yeah 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 because we don't know what that object type is yeah cuz cuz we don't know yeah exactly then group values are, i don't think it's saved yet oh no it hasn't saved on your side i'm just oh, it's saved it's Hey. Okay. So Okay, so it gives how us How do I how sorry. do I turn off all these errors again? These yellow and red errors. There's some kind of thing you can do, right? You can click on custom, get rid of errors. Where where's custom? Uh okay, so you make it a bit bigger. Uh, or click that little X. You see a little X with 106. Uh-huh. I clicked it. Um Um Oh, that little drop down arrow. So go back. That this little one? carrot. You see the little carrot? Downward carrot. Yep. And then, no, that's not it. Um, make it a bit wider, your screen. So maybe just go full screen for a sec. Um, and then you should see default levels there. Click default levels. Get rid of error and warnings. Oh, and thank that, you. Yeah, God. So pretty yeah, clean for, for them. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is <laughs> I realized that <laughs> I looked at the live stream and I was like this dude for a sec. I was like, I was like downhill. I was like, Shrika, you know, when he, he's on the call. Who? <laughs> I, oh. I, I realized my camera was way down. Oh, you mean Nasir? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nasir, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's all the young students. They have a, they have a tendency to go really low on camera. <laughs> yeah, they're just like sleeping. So now the new data structure is going to be an array. Okay, so it's an array it gives you back where the first element of that array is the key. The second element of that array is the uh, is the array of data structure. Okay, so, so Kazi, if you click into the group values R, and that, it will make sense to everyone. Yeah, so you should see that one and you see the first element of that array. So at in the at position zero is mm -hmm. the key. Yep. And then position the value one is that one. Yeah. So what we can do now is we could. That's cool. That's actually pretty usable. Um, you can just go into the value and then uh, sum up all the. You can go into this, right? And then sum up all the amounts. Yeah, but I'm just thinking, do we create a new array and then like go through and push the key with the consolidated value as a key value parent to a new array? And then we kind of go through it all like that. Or do we transform that existing one? You know what I mean? I think, I think honestly, you should write a function that like, yeah, transform the existing. Um... Cause it goes against the immutability okay. style pattern. Okay, that's so. fine. So just make a, make a new one or whatever. Like it's not going to be that big of a deal. The main thing is we just need array one to just sum up to one number. So we just need a function that can go into an array of objects and sum up the values. Okay. So we'll say transformed array equals this, right? Oh, so you did get it right, dude. But you got the, the positioning right last time. So but it's an array of arrays. Yeah. So, so. okay. So, then it will be the same shit. Yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say grouped data. So grouped data dot for each. We'll go through every single one. And then we're going to see, say for every single, um, what did we do last time? We said for every single, we just say for every single row or no, for every single date. Uh, What did we call it? We didn't say tuple, did we? We said uh, um, pair. Entry. No. I mean, what did what, what did we say last time? I think I can't remember. It's pa um, pa pair for the. What are you What are you talking about, bro? Uh oh. Uh, so Devin is, or you can create a third value called total in the array that could equal. 
they reduce the array value. So we uh, could do that. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. Oh yeah, pair, yeah. pair right? Yeah, that, that's what I was saying, yeah. dude. Yeah, so I didn't. So group data for each pair. Yeah, sorry, that's good. Yeah. Uh, then we want to basically go ahead and say. Um, the sum up the pair dot amount. Yeah, so we're gonna say pair one, which is which refers to the array of the data points or the array of amounts. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then we say ma uh, ma. So how do we bubble up those? The fuck is okay, wait, wait hold on. What do you? So so if you expand the uh, so expand yeah so look at uh, so. But oh shit! But you can't That's index. But it's a key, so you have to index it with the word amount. Yeah. So so go into one with two values. So not not one with a. So go into a different one which has more than one value. So that one, yeah. Uh huh. We, so so what we're doing is we're saying pair one gets us this. Pair, well, then, gets us what? You said get, gets us this. So so it gets us the array of three. So pair one would return an array of three at this point. And oh, so you're can... okay. So you're now calling something else pair. You're like deciding to call this a pair. Yeah. Why yeah, don't so you just why, why don't you call yeah. that entry? Because that's con confusing from our earlier verbiage of like pair date and pair amount. So just call it an entry. That makes it very clear what it is. Okay. So we say group there for each entry. So entry one, which is would be entry the... one is yeah the thing that holds all the amounts. Yeah, so it would be no, but we thought it was the amount. So if you click it, it's actually an object. So yeah, yeah no, I that, understand that. It's an object that has, um, it's an array of keys, right? A uh, uh, array of objects. Yeah, so it's an array of objects and that so holds this is all an the array amounts. Of eight and amount. So now we need to go and say array dot map. Right. We can say const total equals entry dot map, uh -huh. and we can say for every single. Uh, now we need another word. So we can say for every single <laughs> entry <laughs> one amount or okay, for every single tuple get the tuple. No, now you can say pair if you want because it's now it's back to date and amount. So that is how we called a pair. Oh yeah, yeah, true, true. Okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, so now we can say pair. Okay, so comes entry pair amount. Okay, so now we can say pair amount, and that should get us the total. And then what we want to do is we want to say our transformed array should have transformed, oops, transformed array. We want to say dot push, and we're going to push entry zero for the key. And then we're going to actually push this in as a, um, should we push it in as an object or? Yeah, push. as an object, right. So we'll say date as entry zero, and then the amount would be the total. Like that. Or and this should are return. you not are you not just appending it to this existing array as a third value? No, no. So I'm actually You're so doing something as else. a v1 created an empty array and then we're pushing the values in as we figure them out. Okay, cool. Let's check it out. Now, uh, now, guys, I know that, that there there could be like efficient see things and stuff but we'll touch that after so um and then what we're going to do is we're going to say transform data and we're going to call that as another console log so we're going to say down here we're going to say console.log the total grouped values group values and i'm going to say alien this is just a random shit then we're going to say transform data and i'm going to pass in the group by data so group by this Okay, we're gonna save it. Oh shit, dude, we done object or entries. We were assuming that it was object or entries, which means that now we need to do object or entries to our group data like this. Okay. Yeah, because that's not a function. Okay, so now it should be correct. It should be working. Total so. group values. Let's see. It's looking clean so far. Amount 2,000. Amount 2,500, 3,500, 4,500. Okay. So it's kind of, but it's not, it's not perfect. Yeah. So right now it's just pushing, it's mapping and it's pushing them in, but we want them to actually add up. So, oh, so now we need a reduce rather than a map. 
Right, yeah. So this is what we need to reduce as opposed to a map. Yeah, reduce um, will sum it up, right? So here we need yeah. reduce. Yeah, so let me just double check the syntax for reduce because I always forget this shit. So reduce JS. Um, this is cool, man. Yeah, so now, now, okay, now we've got that. So now for the reduce, we just go ahead and say... Hold on, let me try this too because I want to pick up... Uh... So reduce gives you a total and every item, right? So in this case, if we did a reduce, you get a total, like a, an accumulator, and, and you get the pair. Total, right? and yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I was thinking. And then you're going to do... Uh, 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 what the fuck is this? Like then you say total plus or equal to the pair amount. So it will basically accumulate the value. Are you sure about that? Because I'm looking at something... Slightly different than that. So you're looking at uh, reduce A B, and then they're doing oh they're doing some they're doing some weird shit. One sec, that's that's some nested object thing. They're doing mm. X plus P. That's different, man. That's like a an object way of doing it. Because they're that's doing some, reduce oh, yeah. an array of objects. Okay, cool. Because this you have a, some kind of total, and then what you do is you initialize the total as the second argument. So you yeah. say the total starts at zero. And then the pair is the individual. That's a and very that's a very cleanly written thing because yeah, this is our accumulator. This is what we're summing up. Uh, increment the accumulator by the thing that we're summing up. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Some, somebody said you don't need the equal. Devin Gray, so we'll use it. okay. I mean, do it. I mean, we can try it without the equal. But I always, I always. Okay, well, let's just try it. If it if it works, then it works. If it doesn't, just put the equal. Uh, uh, you need to save on your side. I did. Just did. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, let's go. Oh, nice. That's cool, man. <laughs> oh, dude. That is sick. Okay. So, that's pretty cool. And now... So, wait, hold on. The accumulator is zero by default. So you also don't probably need that. Yeah. Somebody said that yesterday. So I didn't actually, I actually had no idea that I always used to put in. The reason why I always put in is because it's kind of a good muscle memory. So that way, even when you're doing arrays and stuff. Nah, fucking, it, it, it did something weird, dude. It just turned it all. I don't know yeah, what. Yeah, okay. see, see, like, because now it, it thought, it doesn't know. Remember, JavaScript's weekly typed. So it's going to try and guess the data about types. Ah. And it, it usually gets that wrong. Whereas if you put a zero, it knows that it's a number and it knows that plus to that number is is going to be a number. So Christy says it's not zero by default. It uses a first item as the accumulator if you don't pass one in. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Uh, for all of you interested in all this stuff, probably read the book, The Weird Parts of JavaScript. <laughs> yeah okay so that's sick so that's yeah. really good now that's really now sick i mean we're pretty much done dude now we just gotta plot it now we do an even cooler thing right now what we do is we can plot this but then what we do is we connect it to our form and we apply the transform on and as in we apply the transform as inside of a use effect and that way it would always transform the data every time something's added yep Right, that's Jack. So let's get rid of this comment now because we're good. Um, the console logs we can keep for a bit, and now what we can double check is everything seems to be working still uh, as it is. Um, but now what we should see is we want to apply the. Um, okay, so now we want to do. Uh, so currently, get dates and get amounts currently just runs off of data, right? But instead, what we can do is we can actually make it take a data object instead or we can yeah let's make it let's make it actually a smarter function so it takes a, a data and then and then what we can do is we can pass in whatever our data is um or in, in this case we should call it data set because our lo our variable is called data um and then what we can say is rather than this we can go ahead and do okay dude to make it simple yeah i'll show you a trick now so Mm. 
I don't think it's the nicest way of doing this. Because you see, you don't want this ugly code everywhere. You don't want this transform data complexity somewhere. You want to kind of wrap it in a, in a use effect. So what we can do is the data gets pulled from here, right? Data. So what we can now say is let's create a use effect whereby the dependency is data. So every time data changes, this code runs. Yeah. And then what we can say is every time data, some information comes into data, we want to go ahead and do, we can actually have another piece of state called transform data, which you get set to. So we could have the raw data and then we can have the transform data. We'll see. Yeah, my, I mean, my, we, <clears throat> my brain hurts. Let's just try this way. So let's say every time data changes, what we want to do is set the data to the transformed data. So, no, but that's going to cause an infinite loop. Okay, yeah. So what we're going to, because then yeah. the date will change, which will cause it to re-trigger, which will cause it to change. So instead now what we're going to do is we're going to say const transform data. And then we're going to say set transform data. Hold on, and then hold, here on we'll hold on, say one second. State. So we're using, we're making transform data a piece of state. Yeah. So, so, every, so whenever you enter a value, so every, every in time, this format. every time I push a value, like every time I add a gig, transform data will do its thing. Uh, yeah, and as in it will, it will get transformed here by this. So we'll say set transform data. Got it. It needs to happen every single time. Okay, that makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Now set transform data to this. Um, That's clean. That's really clean. Yeah. And now what we can say is those helper functions. I'm stepping on a protein shake right now. That reminded me, dude. I need to have mine. Uh, I'm, I'm transform data to map. Jacked. I'm almost at my water goals. My protein goals are almost hey. met today. Awesome, yeah, go man. go grab water. What's up? If you don't have water, go grab water. Oh no, I got water. I got water here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to and we're going to say, oh, Logan says, well, you guys are streaming late. Let's go. <laughs> nice. So set transform data. Oh, now yeah. our helper function should pull from that new one. And that means that the helper function is the one that's connected to the actual thing. So if we save it now, everything should be good. And it should mean that we, what we see on our, on our graph should be the correct value. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Dude, this is awesome. Is the uh, well? Let me finish eating first. Let me go ahead and spam a day, and we should see that value spike. That's what I was gonna say. It should actually change it. I'm psyched yep. as fuck. So I'm gonna add like a bunch of uh, days to this thing, so we should see the middle day go crazy. Nice. That is sick, man. Wait, it worked? Yeah. Um, oh, because you kept adding it to the same. Yeah, so it accumulated. So it said on that day, you made 31,000, 31 and a half thousand. I mean, we need to get rid of K because K right now is... Bro, look, I just added multiple different days and look, it added a point for all of them. What do you, oh, you added different days. Oh, nice, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. That looks great. Yeah. And dude, and every time now you have any sort of, um, anytime you have the, 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 um, wait, is it sorting by date right now? Oh, okay. So it's not sorting by day. That's a good shout. Yeah. So Saulo says sort by date. That's a very good suggestion actually. Um, Okay, that's a very good Oh, yeah, because okay, October 23rd and October 27th is all the way in the end, and 29th <laughs> is the first one. Yeah. Dude, this is pretty damn cool, man, because now we've got a really sick piece of code, 
And guys, think of it this way. Now, because we've got this transformed data and normal data. This is really cool. And this is also something people have to do quite often when it comes to charting. And a lot of the data types look extremely similar to this. And a lot of people are trying to make apps with a chart. Yep, exactly. And you will run into this. And I have run into this before. And my code wasn't this elegant. So now this is actually pretty nice, this solution. But... Um, but before it was kind of messy, but you have to do some like, you know, interesting data type stuff. And also this is one of the best exercises you could possibly do for learning data types, because you're going to run into scenarios where you've got an array inside of another array and you've got some other crazy stuff happening. And, and this is a really good way of mastering that. You got to get dirty before you get clean. Exactly. Like the end result, you'll be like, wow, that code is clean. But the, the, the code to get there would have been a bit messy, you know? Um, okay, so settle. And use effects are clean, dude. They're like, so once you clean. Call it, it's so clean. All right, now how do I... Okay, so before we connect it to a form, we just need to sort the dates. Yeah, so we need to sort the dates and then we need to connect the form. And then hook into Firebase is easy. So quick question. Yeah. Are, <clears throat> hold on one second. The thing that's being plotted, where's our data being stored? So right now we have hard data. So we will map our input stuff to the hard data so at the a, end. So, okay, I got a question. So, so if it's an array of um, uh, objects, we can just sort this array by, um, by, by, by date, right? Like each, each of the items in this array, we can sort it with this. So remember, for efficiency, you don't want to sort this entire data set. Instead, if we if we sort the transform data set, there's much less to, to go through. Uh-huh. Because they would, they, would, they would be grouped. So you'd only have that date come up once. I agree. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> that makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. So here, when we do the set transform data, we're going to need an intermediate step which sorts before that. Or we can kind of do it inside of transform data. So that's, that's a good chart here, maybe. Um, so we actually group the data here and then we need to do some kind of uh, group by moment. Uh, group I'm by already on moment. it, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Sorted array. Uh, dot sort. Oh, they have a sort. Um, sort by date moment. For sorter, okay. we can use low dash. Interesting. So this looks like a pretty clean um, solution. You take in an array. Um, okay. Yo, this okay, looks this, array dot sort. What do you think about this? What I'm highlighting is this going to be useful or no? Using low dash. So I think we can do it without low dash. Okay. But what case we can do it with low dash? Um, because now JavaScript has a, a, a sort, uh, moment diff, diff takes the usual moment input. Uh, okay. Let's, let's try, I've got, a, I've got an approach here, which is pretty sick. Um, and this, I've sent you a Slack. This also would work. I imagine the, uh, Unix thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm on the same, the same arc yeah, as you. So I figured. So, so uh, but you see that the one underneath there uses moment. So rather than, cause we don't want the Unix, we want to actually use, um, uh, we're just using, um, the, what's it called? But the, ours is a bit different dude. Cause we need, we've got a key involved. So the one underneath it, the diff, I think maybe that one's better. Cause remember if we use Unix, it's going to take milliseconds into account. But I mean, wow. we lost the milliseconds earlier anyway, so I guess okay. maybe. So then the diff would work. The diff should work, yeah. So here we should be able to say uh, const sorted array, let's just say sorted array equals array.sort. And then our data structure is. Okay, our data structure is like date and amount. Okay, so then we say array.sort. So our array is transformed array. So we say transformed array.sort A and B, and then. Uh, if you guys don't know what a sort A and B or something like that, or a comparison is, I'll definitely check them out. But what it does is it takes like the first value and the second value in the array, 
and then you can do some kind of comparison and then it would do and then it would the winner would get the first place second would get second and then it'll go to the second and third and it will basically go through the entire array and, and sort the array out like it's, it's very clever how it does it yeah in this case we've got a we're gonna say a dot date uh -huh. so instead we're gonna do a date maybe like this what is that oh because we've got, we've actually yeah, yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And then we we could return the sorted array instead of the transform. Dude, array. I love how this is such a mind fuck. If you're a beginner, you would be doing like a dot date dot diff, and to yeah. know that if you did dot date dot diff, it would try to evaluate the dot date dot diff first before it, like. <laughs> so yeah. Doing this is like hilarious. It would, man. It really would. Oh, okay. Remember, we changed it to a string when we done transform. Right. right. I was thinking that. When we did format, sorry, when we did the format. So now we need to change it back to moment.js to do the diff. Right. So dot moment here or something. Dot moment like that. I think. And that dot diff uh, then. I think so. Can you do, how do you undo it? No, I think you would do moment like moment. Because I'm taking the date, which is a string, calling moment on it. Or is it the other way? Is it, does you call the moment function? I think you call, I think you call moment like that maybe. Uh, you're you're right. You're you're right. You're right. You're right. Maybe. Dumps. And then this one we can try it for this moment. Dude, my copy pasting skills are fucking helping me out from high school when I used <laughs> to plagiarize my way through finishing papers. I feel you, man. Is oh, okay. Oh wait, one sec, maybe. And for the oh, record, shit. I never actually plagiarized, just saying. Dude, it fucking worked. <laughs> it worked? Let's go! <laughs> Dude, I love that, like, we're doing such a complicated thing, and there's such little thinking involved. It's kind of ridiculous. I know, man. Sick. Wow. That is it's... phenomenal. Yeah. And what we need to do <clears throat> for this to be written out in a pretty way is... um. What are you thinking? Using the moment library to to languageify the dates? What is it called? Englishify? So in the transform data now, we can actually do it very nicely. Yeah, it's super easy now. Dude, this is sick though. This is so yeah. sick. It is sick. It is clean, man. So now entry zero is actually the key that we're trying to fix now. So we can basically go ahead and do moment.format on this. And we can change that to whatever we want, regardless of what it comes in as. So the end result could be moment or format. And then here, the format, let's find a nice format, dude. So uh, a format that we like. So I guess like you would want something very light, like, like, yeah, you know, just, just literally the numbers, like as in like three, four, 20 or something. What you would want is, it just say October somewhere and then just 22, 23, 24, like that. Like maybe. Oh, that, that's going to be. Maybe. Tricky, yeah. No, no, no. But we, there's probably something in the graphs, in the graph options where you could just. Yeah. For, add, the, for that, we could do. Like an X that, axis label, uh, like a. Like a <clears throat> yeah, I know you mean like a. Uh, 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 like an yeah. X axis label. I'm sure there's a way to just do X axis label. You just write October there. And then yeah. for the days, it should just be the dates. Yeah. So where's our get dates? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, no, but right now we're trying to do this. Let's, let's get the format done first and then we'll move on to that bit. Okay, go ahead. So, so moment format, uh, simple date, no, moment format. We literally just want the simple, uh, what is the simple one? This. Date. date formats so oh yeah so l is l is what we're looking for i think yeah just l so moment of format l so that should do it really that'll give you yep. just a number i'll give you a number there you go it's an American sort of positioning because you've got the, the month first and then you no, the no, day. No, no, no. But I just want 22. I don't even want... 
You know what I mean? I don't want the whole thing. I just want 22 and then 23 and 24 and not 10, 20 to 2020. Oh, you can do that. You can do that. So you can say, as in like you want 22 and then, so if you only want the day, I think yeah. it's just D, I think. Yeah, try it. I think it's, it's D. Where, where are you doing it? And get dates or yeah, transformed. Okay, got it. I think it's D. Double Ds. I like it. Let's do it. <laughs> Think that oh, sure that's thing. actually pretty cool too. Oh shit! Thursday, Wednesday. Th oh fuck, yeah. But still, now that's gonna get insanely big. That's the problem. I kind of uh -huh. like it like this, but I, I'm just saying, just a number like 22, 23, 24, 25. Somebody said DD capital D's. Hey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, Dunkin' Donuts. Let's go. Oh shit! Well, okay, but now it's now it's messed up oh, because oh, oh, oh. sorted array broke. Oh my goodness. Um. Now the sorted array. I mean, you could sort afterwards very easily. Now you could just do if a date diff a. I mean, okay. The the, the question is is that. Are we going to eventually have this only by month by month? I guess you would, right? Otherwise, it would just get insanely big. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, would, yeah. yeah. You, just just, you by, would, just month by month. We'll be we'll add a drop-down menu at the top or something where you can... Or some kind of swipeable, you know, like swipe through the months or something. Yeah, swipe through the months, something like that, exactly. And like we would just have it so it will say at October right here on the x-axis. Yeah. So now we don't need moment passing here because it's going to be just a number comparison. Is this number bigger than that number? That's it. And that should do that for us. So now we should have the sorted graph. I hope. No. Okay. Oh, no, because we're doing diff. Sorry. We don't need that. Now we can say A diff minus B diff, and that should work. I hope. I think. Oh, we should do it. Should check which one's bigger. Let's go ahead and check. Let's see. It there worked, we go. It nice. Sick. Okay. Um, now we bought. Hold on. Wait Let me actually see how like Putler does it. I think that would be cool, dude, if you had like a month view. So how Putler does it is like they don't even have it daily. It's like every few days. So they just have like October 1st and then October 10th and October 19th and October 28th on the X axis. But I don't care about that. We don't need that. Yeah. Because ours would only be the the problem that we have right now is that ours would be like spread like they would be spread out. So you could have something on like the twenty eighth of October. Your next job might be two weeks that you make some income, or a week later, and you've crossed over the month. Um, what if we had a bar chart that had a line going through it? Is there a bar chart with the line going through it? <laughs> Let, let's keep because now the data structure is set for the line. No, I mean chart. like I mean. Is there one that like literally just puts a bar here and everything else is the same? Because I'm looking at Putler and they have this exact line one that we got, but like it just also has a bar right here. So then you can actually see, oh, this is the day that the income was. Mm, we can. I mean, I think so. Maybe. Like it, 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 it's very clear though, like because it, it's literally like an increase, you know. It. <clears throat> And I, I, I guess I really like my bars. Like, okay, let me just show you in Slack so you can take a look at what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. Okay. 
Okay. So. All right. This is all I'm talking about. I actually decided to just put it up here. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's like really cool. But that's like a, that's a trend. That's not, um, that's, you see the actual, the number is actually, the data is the, the, the bar and the trend is the line. Okay. So we would have to pretty much change a lot of things, right? For it. Yeah. We'd have to do a bar, uh, no, a no, bar no. chart and then have some, see if it's got trend line functionality or something. All right. No, it's fine. <laughs> um but the y-axis no the x-axis stuff would be interesting now to see um also we need to get rid of this k do we want it in k or do we not I, in um, this case I, I say no because i like k because what if like you've only made like some people in most cases you only made like 200 at the time or, oh, like, okay, or it okay. could be three grand okay, okay. like okay remove it that's fine unless your the income that you're making is always 10 grand 15 grand 14 grand yeah no that's fine you can just remove I think here we seen is it no? <laughs> Maybe you just remove the y axis surface. Yeah. Just add a x axis label. Where the fuck is it though? Because it says y axis has a label, but I don't see the label. Where's the label? Uh y axis is the label. Oh, it's a dollar sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but then that's wait, hold on, that's everywhere though. Oh, you you mean like um, uh, a legend? Hold on, hold on, one second. Yes, I did mean a legend. Give me one second. Hold on, I'm gonna unfollow you. Let's go here, and I'm gonna, gonna try. I'm gonna try off. something, and let's see if that looks too ugly or not. So I'm just gonna add a x-axis label, and um, I'm gonna make that. Mabon's in the chat. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm just going to make it oct. Let's see what that looks like. All right, let's have that. I should add an oct next, uh, in front of every number. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, well, you done that to the so why, X label. How? Why is a dollar putting it in front instead of ahead of it? You know what I mean? Like, the dollar is doing the right thing, but Oct is doing some funky, funky crap. But dude, I that's not. A, I don't think that's a good approach because this is a hard value that will be here. No, no, I understand. I understand. I'm. I, this would be whatever the value, the date picker or whatever we pick from. But yeah. Okay. What What do you want to do for this? Because all I think I think we should just have the date itself rather than DD. Okay. So maybe having format like it, L. It and looks then... ugly, bro. Like it looks really ugly. You mean when we had it like, like the whole thing, right? 10, 20, 20, 20, 10 slash 20. Slash... I, don't, I don't think we need the 20, 20, but I think something like 10, 10, 22. Yeah. Okay. Let's it's see a clean that. middle ground. Okay. Let's see that. Yeah. So something like, which would be. Okay. Okay. Try that. Try that one. ED forward slash MM. You can do that. And then we need to do this moment. Uh, oh, shit. What is this moment dot? And then we say dot diff. Uh, moment. Uh, I think that's good. Because now we're doing comparison on. We got a, we got a syntax error. Oh, shit. Yeah. X axis label. Wait, what's going on? Something's broken. Um, it says 59. Oh. Wait, why is um, it claiming? Line 59. Return. Save, save, save. Something and you're then... doing at the end. There we go. You just weren't Shit. closing the parentheses. Dude, I'm here to close your parentheses, bro. <laughs> Maribon is there to complete your sentences. I'm there to close your parentheses. <laughs> That's it. Boom. Pair oh, program. Oh, that's good, man. That looks pretty good. That looks. All... No, no, no. Okay. I mean, you. We have to flip it because this is UK version of it, which 
<laughs> is giving me AIDS. Yeah, that, that's the MM DD. Yeah. It's still. Oh, shit. Okay. So we've got a problem. It formatted it, but the diff isn't working. Ooh, no, it's working, bro. It's it's fine. It's perfect. They're freaking out for no reason. Oh, now it is. On the other way, it wasn't working. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. That actually looks pretty clean. I'll take that. Uh, also, what about when I hover over it? Can it give me like a little thing? Huh? Uh, yeah. So tooltip, I think is what you're or like some kind of tooltip thing, right? Yes, 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 yes. If we can get access to the element, we could do whatever we want with it. Okay. Before, uh, before we do tooltip, why don't we attach the form? So then when we actually submit the form, it adds a new date on the calendar or on the line chart. Yeah, let's do it. So uh, that'll be sick. We'll see it in dynamic as well. Okay, so in that case, now we this is our, our data structure that we expect. Yeah. So now what we can do is we can have it so because when you when you submit, it's just going to be moment format LL. So what we do is we say we go to add gig and we say description is description, amount is amount, and description. Description. Okay. Oh, the gigs. Oh, yeah. Oops. Um, so now we can say here we set the gigs. But we actually want to set the data. Okay. So let's leave the gigs there for, for now. We don't care about this one. Instead, let's just say set data. Set data to be whatever the data currently is so spread the data plus the date which is moment dot format and we're going to keep our format out because we did everything based on that and then we'll say this needs to be a, an object no nope. we need to say format Keep whatever's in the data and then have a object here, yeah, which is date. And then what's the amount? Okay, so amount is amount. Okay. Thing, then set description, set amount. Okay. That should actually be working. If that works now, then it should actually be doing it. Oh. Looks like something worked. Okay, so now freelance, and then they say enter amount you made, so it's to say like a huge amount, so 20,000 ad gig. Oh, snap. It, okay. did, it did it? Have a try. Say oh, say like whoa, 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 it works. It adds like six million. <laughs> so, oh, okay. No, wait, it did. Do you see this? It did two thousand. So why is it added? It added a string of two, two million two, six. Uh, oh, for me, it added a string of two million six hundred. So oh, because yeah, it added as a string. Wait, hold on. Yeah, because huh. yeah. So no, but then what was the? So we can we can debug it. We can say the amount. Oh, it just keeps adding this. it to as a string to the current like values it doesn't actually increment there's something fucked up going on with the y axis yeah, yeah. that's why right. that's right it's, it's just literally adding it as a string to the final one uh-huh so now it should be good so if we say freelance because yeah that's you'll be careful with that careful um, with what uh, no i'm saying to, to everyone you gotta be careful of data types like that yeah Okay. There we go. There we go. That's why. Yeah. That was a good catch. Yeah. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That's sick, man. Dude, dude, do like five grand and you'll see it spike. All right. Oh, 15 grand. 15 grand. Sorry. I mean, no, no. Let's just test five grand today and we will do uh, coding. Boom. Right there on the 29th. Look at that. Hey, hey, that's it. It's coming out. That's sick. Nice. And dude, now we have a data structure. We have 
um, the, the way we expect they to be pushed in and everything, we have the app flow working. It's super easy at this point to actually go ahead and connect that to Firebase, get everything dynamically shifting on there and keep it on there. Oh, shit. Then we can actually like use this app on our phone or on any device actually at that point, probably. Because if it's hosted yeah. on Firebase, then I can just log in. So what we what we could do as a, as a sort of as a, the next natural sort of step for this is having user authentication, yeah, which would put you to this page, right? Yeah. And then if you're if you're authenticated, you'll come here. If not, you'll go to a login page. And then what we can say is, and then your data set would be pulled from Firebase based on your user ID. And then that way, when you're in your account, you would only see your stats. When I'm in my account, I'll see my stats. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. That's exactly what we want. So, some... like, but do you think by the next um, stream we do, we'll actually start being able to use it on our phone? Like, we'll actually be able to go and start logging my income and be able to see I it think... for myself? I think once we get the authentication done, yeah, I think yeah. So authentication is going to require two things. We're going to need navigation inside of our app. Uh huh. Uh, so so you think cool you think you think so? Our, so you don't think we'll be able to get that up and running in our next live stream, but the stream after that. So for example, we're going Monday, Thursday. Um. Yeah, I, I think I think we're I on mean, track. I have. How's your next week looking like? Are you uh, booked up next week or can we go live maybe more time so then we can make faster progress on it Monday Thursday 100% dope Tuesday, Tuesday's coaching call got it yeah uh, potentially Wednesday we can go live again as well okay but, but, but we've got a challenge now of, of authentication in typical react apps pretty easy we just go ahead and, and we do it um, trying to get on my phone, but it says error while being property D of a view manager. Okay, I don't know what that dude, is, dude. Just um, um, just say ignore on it or something like do that, like just um, swipe it down or something, and it just goes away, and you can actually just use it. Like, I'm able to now use it on my phone. Oh shit, nice. We got a five pound donation, a five euro donation. Thanks for being my practical teachers. I'm still new to programming and you guys make it so much fun. Oh shit. Thank you. Gabab, gabagab. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that, dude. Really appreciate that. So, um, so this next, so the first thing is clean up this stuff. Yeah, so it, we got data So data. few things happening that are funny. One of them is that I think it's like, yeah, not not behaving the right way on a on a phone. Okay. Maybe it is. Um, no, it's How not. So? It's like it's not sorted, and then it's also doing some funny things. For example, let me. Uh, so take. A Remember look at my phone. this tunnel. It may not be the latest. Um... No, it's the latest because it's when I type in stuff, it actually pops it up so it's connected okay. to the form but like look at how it's uh not sorted it's possible it could yeah. be not the latest i'll try again let me try again so so my one right now is not the latest because um, i refreshed and then i clicked tunnel again and then i scanned it and then Mine's downloading. Huh. Yeah, it just keeps doing some funky stuff. So if I say ABC and then if I do, okay, so it's not so that's one and then one, two, okay. Ah. Oh. I think I know why actually. This is why it's deprecated. Um, Moment JS is deprecated because the dates on format aren't supported in every browser. 
Oh, shit. I read it somewhere before, which means that in this case, Moment JS is supported, but the diff isn't working. Huh. So the actual the actual values are working, dude. If I write testing, and if I do like 20,000. 20, yeah, that works, but it's all like sort. the sorting is off and stuff like that. So the sorting is off. So so we need to fix the sorting. Um, month, month, day, day. Okay, so... But beyond that, anything else? I think that the the key the keyboard not disappearing is another bug. That's like a sort of we can fix that afterwards. Um, very minor issue that one. Um, I mean, dude, what I'm excited about is authentication Firebase. I can even use it from my computer. Yeah. I, or I can just go on my phone and go on Google. And just go to whatever.com and log my daily income. I just care about being able to log my daily income. That would be Dude, sick. Right now, this app is essentially just a React app. It's not really a full-on React. I mean, it is React Native because this graph is only React Native. Um, no, no, I take that back. It is React Native. Yeah. <laughs> it's React Native. Um, yeah. You can deploy this app to uh, web, though. Yeah. Okay. Dope. So you want to, let's make progress on it on mon upcoming Monday. Yeah. Well, let's go for, so next goals for the next stream are React navigation. Yep. Um, so we have some kind of navigation aspect to it. And what we should do is we should commit this to a, a, a repo that's between you and I. Uh-huh. And then that way we can sort of like push the code, have some kind of source control over it. Let's do it. You have access to my terminal. Uh, let's, let me create a... GitHub. I don't think I've got C your organization CP. Okay. You should you should have access to my organization. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make it private for now. Um. Dope. So, or should we make it private or public? Um. You can make it public, right? Like, is there anything private about this? I mean, they're not going to be able to. Uh, it will, there'll be a pull request if anything. So. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay, yeah, make it public. So we'll call this... Um, Unless the only thing we code in here are like passwords from our most secure website. And it's just like a set of strings. It's like one array of... Uh, uh, array that's just called Sonny's passwords. And just like yeah. all your passwords in here. <laughs> Wait, shit, add that slip. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we have income tracking app. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Income tracking app. Okay, I just want to check something. Get status. What's the app top? Yes, package log, package to do. There's a lot of files here that aren't going to get committed, weirdly. Get log. Create a new expo app. Okay, so that was part of it. Okay, let's check in. Um, okay, so income tracking app, yeah? Repo, repo name. Yeah. Income dash tracking app, okay. Uh, and public. Great repo. Okay. And then if you just open up the terminal, they, they can see what I'm doing. Um, A glog. Get remote. Add that shit to do JS. There we go. And then I'm going to say get uh, add or get status. Get, uh, let me say first. I will just say. Um, freelance developer income tracker or something. And say added graph. Nice. Push that bad boy. Oh. Origin master, bruh. Just do get oh. push. 
Um, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, refresh. Hey, there we go. Yeah, okay. it's right. there. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, follow this link. Open. Here it is, y'all. <clears throat> if you want, here's the URL. Doing a quick URL reveal. Now I'm gonna hide it. Boom. If you guys want to use this, you can go ahead and use it. Wait, hold on. There's nothing in here. Uh, refresh. Oh, oh wait a second. I just had yeah, it. refresh. No, no, no. It's yeah. not refresh. It's I just have to expand it. If I don't expand it. Oh, it says view code. Yeah. Yeah. Dope. Nice. This is awesome. We got the whole thing here. You guys can go to app JS to see all the code that we wrote. Everything is here for your use and enjoyment. Yeah. And we left the console logs, all that stuff in it's, it's non refactored like code. So it's pretty much like at the point we left it. So you guys can play with it. That's it. it. Do it. Oh shit. We forgot to promote the webinar. Oh, whatever. It's all good. There's going to be a webinar coming up this Sunday. If you're on our email list or whatever, you'll be able to get access to it. Yeah. Make sure you guys are there because it's going to be a value drop. And we're going to talk about how you can pretty much push all of your React capabilities in 90 days. Guys, within days, yeah. that webinar is going to be sick. Super jam-packed with value. We're going to be giving it all um, our all. It is going to be exclusive and not on YouTube. It'll also yeah. be in a way where you can jump on and communicate with us. So if you want that, then make sure you show up on Sunday. The only way you'll get a reminder is if you're on our email list. If you're not on our email list, just go to cleverprogrammer.com, pop in your email somewhere, and you'll be good to go. Yeah. Exactly. Right now, the link in the description is for the course. So we actually will update that for next time and we'll have it. To, yeah. And of course, if you guys want to just jump into our course, which is the best course on the planet when it comes to development, then go ahead and feel free to do that. This course will teach you everything that we're talking about here and much, much, much more. It's called Profit with JavaScript. And the number one goal of this course is to help you make a killing with JavaScript. Exactly. And guys, all the things we talked about today, like those data structures, all those like kind of, you know, those kind of problem solving things that you get stuck in and you might be watching it thinking, uh, how the hell am I ever going to get to that point? And we pretty much put our heart and soul into making that very easy for you to get to a point where you can solve problems like that and take it a step further and make some money with it. So Link in the description if you want to check it out. That's right. So yep. take advantage of that, you guys. The link is in the description. Students have gotten some insane, insane results from what they have learned. So take full, full advantage of it. Um, other than that, guys, uh, that's it for me. This is Kazi. And this is your boy, Papa React. This was a dope cool, man. This was a lot of fun. This was sick. All right, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. We made some solid progress. And on the next one on Monday for this app that we're building, we're going to continue the process. And the goal is to build an app where all developers from the world can actually use it to track their income and to track their freelancing income, more importantly. Exactly. Yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, hit the bell icon so you don't miss those videos coming up. And yeah, smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this. Yep, and we'll have a dashboard so, Sonny, few things we need to add to it is the ability to add a picture proof at one point. Yes, yeah, yeah. Right, so we'll add the ability to add picture proof. The whole point of this is going to be like everybody will, everybody will be able to log their income. At Clever yep. Programmer, we will be able to proofread and verify about your income. And we will have a central dashboard view where we'll be able to see how much income everybody at Clever Programmer has made. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We're going to go ahead and have it so you can log in, you can have your own account. We'll support a bunch of different login uh, logins uh, and we'll show you how to build all that, which would be cool. And yeah, like it's going to be proven income. And then the, the amazing thing is we're going to have all of that income sort of like all those stats and things like that. So we're going to actually, we can pretty much go ahead and do something crazy with that, have some kind of leaderboard, you know, some kind of stuff going on. 
um that would be awesome to see as well but yeah you guys are going to see all of that being built out which is pretty cool that's going to be sick and uh me maribon and sunny we're all going to go to cheesecake factory in la oh, yeah. <laughs> very, i saw she always important. talks about cheesecake factory she's like, like oh we need to go to cheesecake factory i've never been that'd that's, be sick that's gonna yeah. be sick all right love you guys uh sunday at 12 p.m. or 11 a.m.? When is the webinar? Should we go 11 a.m. or 1, uh, 12 p.m.? Want to go 11 a.m.? Uh, do other webinars? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. 11 a.m. Yeah. Pacific, Sunday. That's where we're going to be doing it. How to become a React JS developer in under 90 days. It's going to blow your mind. Make sure you show up. With that said, I love your beautiful face. This is Kazi. This is your boy, Sunny, Papa React. And we will see you guys in the, hopefully in the webinar. <laughs>